Welcome back to One Hour Limit Locked, where I race to complete some of RuneScape's most iconic challenges, whilst limited to just one hour of gameplay each day. In Season 1, we got ourselves a fire cape in 46 days, and in Season 2, we achieved Barrow's Gloves in just another 38. But now, in Season 3, it's time for our toughest challenge yet. The question is, how many days will it take us to complete our first ever raid on the account? We not only have to get ourselves geared and leveled up just to step inside a raid, we then have to complete it in under one hour, as logging out in the middle will end our run. I've no idea how long this is going to take me, but I can't wait to find out, so join me for the journey here in Season 3 of One Hour Limit Locked, as we become a Tomb Raider. What's good everyone and welcome back. It is day number 68 here and today we're going to have a chill day doing some range training at Scurrius. But before we do, we had a clue step to finish off. So that is what I'm doing. Where did I die that I have items in a retrieval service? What am I forgetting? What? Is there something in the chest at tombs? I should go check, right? I can't just not check in case it's like a piece of gear or something. I don't, that's the only place I can think of. So we just need to get the music track through here. I would run energy, unfortunately, but there's the track. Uh, oh, we've got this on. May as well. Don't know why I went to Varrock. I guess we didn't have fa followed our teleport sons. Well, uh, this is worrying me. The message I got on logging in. An item retrieval service. Where? I can't see my group. In the wilderness? When I suicided? Surely it's not about that. Uh, I'll just wait for it to appear at Death's office. Wasting too much time by thinking about it. Can't use my brain right now. Don't be stupid. I've got a clue to do. A scurious to kill. Okay, we got another clue. It's this. Uh, Lumbridge Castle. How many steps have we done of this? We've done four. So this could be it. Or one more, maybe? Hey, we got the casket. Well, that's not too bad. I mean, it's decent. It's not amazing, but it's better than a punch in the face. Worth the time it took to do. It was not that long of a clue. Okay, so we are going to make our way to Scurrius. And I guess we're not going melee, are we? We're going ranged. With the bone... Short but do we have any arrows? We have 134 rune arrows, so we probably want to get some more of those. Let's just grab. In fact, let's get amethyst arrows. We can afford just getting myself geared up here. Don't really have any good boots to wear. Or a good helm. Guess we'll go Nezzy. I'll do, it'll be fine. And we don't need anything fancy, it's only scurious. Alright, and then we want a bunch of prayer pots, don't we? Just a shit ton. And a tiny bit of food. I think that's about all we need. We get the brimstone ring as well. Quick gear check. Looks good to me. Let's get on with it. Oh, range pots. Alright, here we go. We don't have our proper teleports on us. We need fire runes in there. Just gonna go top myself up on the altar on the way. And then we'll be chilling at Scurrius the rest of the day. I don't know how well I'm in then yet. I forgot a spec weapon, but it's okay. We're on ranged anyway. Right, I'm hoping we can get ourselves a level today, because we didn't get anywhere near as much XP as I would have liked yesterday. We are 80k away from the next level, but I'm hoping Amethyst Arrows here. Scurrious rates with the burn short bow and then the rats as well. Like we should have pretty good DPS here at this stage using ranged. We got decent gear on as well with the eclipse, so we should be smoking him. Oh, it's so much easier when you don't actually have to run around to hit those, you can just click them one tick. Beautiful timing. Felt like a very quick kill. Music, why you not play? Yeah, we're looking at over 100k an hour, so we should be good for a level today, which is way better than yesterday. I can't be asked to flick. We're past the point of flicking now. Addict plate body. Slightly interesting. 
Did not bring nature runes though. Feels like very quick kills. It says they were two minutes apart, but I don't know. Could be like a minute and a half, right? Feels quicker than what I remember anyway. And thankfully, Eagle Eye doesn't take quite as much prayer as Piety. I haven't fact checked that, but it feels like it drains less. Beautiful bastard. I should have definitely brought nature runes. Because anyone's curious, I would ideally like to get to 80 ranged. I think that would make me feel a lot more comfortable about that last stage of Wardens. Because the problem is the state, the phase just lasts too long. It gets to the point where there's one row and I'm there dancing on fucking like one tile in the row at a time while also trying to keep track of Acker and it's just way too much. If we can kill it faster before it gets to that point, or sooner, closer when it gets to that point, so we don't have to spend as much time in the very, very final portion, then I feel like it's just going to go way smoother and we'll be laughing. And also the extra range levels will help us out through the entire rest of the raid. There isn't a room where we don't use ranged at least somewhat. You know, Zebak we use ranged entirely, Kepri we use it against the Scarabs, even fucking Barba who's meant to be a melee boss, we do half of it with ranged because we're cheesing him on, on the top, waiting by the boulders. So these should make us more efficient through the whole raid if we can just get up a little bit higher, and I think 8 is a nice round number to leave it at. I can't see any reason to try and go beyond that, but just getting one or two more levels and being at like 78 or 79, like why not just go to 80? <laughs> and then as far as defense is concerned, I would like to get to 75, but all in all, getting three range levels and four defense levels could take like a week. So I don't know. We'll just see how long the grinds are taking. How many different things we have to do or how stale it gets if we end up needing to stay in one place like Scurrious. Because I feel like this is probably the most efficient way to get XP. Just have to see how it feels. Yeah, those kills were only one minute apart. Oh, a range boost almost run out as well. But it's all wait till the start of the next one. Maybe Divines would be worth it. I just can't wait to go back to the G at this stage. Max hit a 30, I think I just saw. That's like fully potted using the bone short bone amethyst arrows and range prayer. We spend like barely any time on the melee phases as well, so I feel like I'm saving so much prayer because Scurrius is moving around half the time with DPS in him. Like, as soon as he comes out of this phase, he's not even gonna hit me once. Oh, okay, he hit me once just to prove a point. Alright, he's hitting me twice. Whatever, nerd. Okay, there we go, and now he's moving again, we'll get him down to his last little phase, so like, all we have to do is one tick flick the projectiles and we're pretty much good, because of how much DPS we're doing to him, and then it lets me leave Eagle Eye on the rest of the time without my prayer draining too much, except for the very start of the fight when we need to get him down that first chunk that is, but that doesn't take that long. I might go quiet for a bit, just chill, and then make some sort of speed up compilation of this because I'm not particularly planning on leaving this room except for cashing any spines we get. So yeah, I guess I'll see you when something interesting happens.
There is our 78th range level coming in here at the end of kill 361 of Scurious. We have done an awful lot of this boss. It is simply that good for the XP, although it did tail off a bit as the day went on. I guess the, the dead time waiting between kills for him to respawn does cut into the XP rate somewhat, but 105k around about is what it turned out to be, and not bad haul on the loot. Decent amount of rune items and a couple of plate bodies. Should probably alk it to be honest for maximum profit, but who gives a fuck. And yeah, I'm gonna chase down this clue because addicted to clues. I'm addicted, so addicted. And we need a spade. Wait, why did I come from here? No, I wanted to be there, it's fine. Just go to this tree. I was gonna go to the other spirit tree, but in fact, we should just run from here. This is probably about the same. We don't have to do Elkoi. I'm actually wondering whether to just do the ranged and then have another couple cracks at the tombs. And if we don't get it then, then do the defense. That's what I'm currently thinking. Because it's going to take us a couple days just to get these ranged levels and then defense on top of that's going to take another few days. So. Kill a hill giant. Okay. I'm pretty sure this is the right key. And if it's not, then uh, fuck everything. One dusty key, you can do it. You're not the right key. Okay, we're gonna mini game teleport to Blast Furnace. Not Blast Furnace. You know, what's it called? Giants, Giants Foundry. Whew. Didn't bring a stamina. Or a dueling ring. Let's see you later, Mr. Hill Giant. Thanks for playing. Okay, I'm going to go back to a bank. I want to slam. Yeah, I haven't exactly decided what training method to do tomorrow yet. Scurries is probably the best option. I kind of tempted to try Chin Chompers out at the zombie caves. I don't think that will go particularly well though, because I think we'll take way too much damage without bloods to sustain ourselves. But I'm kind of tempted to try it just as something different. We're not going to get to this step. Can I get a super far click on a door to finish? No, we can get a relatively close click on a door to finish. <laughs> oh wow, we opened the door and don't go inside. Okay. So yeah, we got to do this clue tomorrow because apparently I like starting days with clues at the minute. And oh, this might be a cool screenshot or, or something at the uh, the end of the day here. That's not bad, that's a cool setting, isn't it? I don't even know this whole Chinatown sort of theme. I've never noticed that before. Well, if you enjoyed today's episode, you're, you're a lost cause, because all we did is kill Scorius. So, I don't know why you enjoyed that, but it is what it is. Thanks anyway. Make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and leave a comment down below. Let me know if there's a specific method you want me to do in the next couple days while I'm getting these last couple range levels together. And maybe I'll just do it. Until next time though, look after yourselves, be lovely to one another, and I will see you on the next one.